This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. As fall approaches, we have a segment that reminds all of us to check in on our mental health. Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day and I thank you for taking some time to be with us. I'm Ken Carr with your local information from SSPTV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Luzerne County is using $11 million from the Coronavirus Aid, Relief and Economic Security Act to help local businesses and nonprofits that are suffering because of the pandemic. The grant program is not first come, first serve. Applications can be filled out during a two week time period online. The county is planning for the application time period to be between late September and early October. You can go to luzernecounty.org for more information on the program and to sign up for an email alert for when the application process is open. Around 7,600 National Merit Scholarships will be awarded this year, and two seniors at MMI Preparatory School in Freeland are semifinalists. Darren Zhang on the left here and Louis D'Angelo on the right are the local semifinalists. Around 16,000 students will now complete an application to be finalists. Finalists need to have an outstanding academic record, be endorsed and recommended by a high school official. They also have to write an essay and have SAT scores that confirm their performance on the qualifying test. According to MMI's press release, around 90% of the semifinalists will move on and then around half of them will earn a National Merit Scholarship. As the roller coaster we call 2020 continues, Arjanine Lassant speaks with a local neurofeedback technician about mental health. Well, first of all, uh, tell us what a neurofeedback technician is. So neurofeedback is a form of biofeedback. Um, I have a business called Brainworks and we give, it's direct brain training. So it's used for clients from anything from speech disorders, anxiety, panic attacks, sleep disorders. Um, I work with autistic clients. So I, there's an array of conditions that could be treated without medicine and through feedback. Would you say that you've seen more clients this year uh, due to the pandemic? Absolutely. And it was so unfortunate because even we had to close for a few months. And once we got back into business, um, we had lots of clients that were concerned with anxiety, panic attacks, depression. So what are some of the advice that you can offer to someone maybe watching this segment if they're sitting at home and they do feel stuck and just like they just want to scream because they feel like the walls are caving in on them? So, you know, mental health is anything that's, it, it's our state of being, it's how we feel. Um, and if that's significantly different than it has been for you in the past, then that should be a concern. That's something to note. So if you're not eating right, if you're just eating different, more or less, sleeping more or less, um, if you just have feelings of just un, unmotivated, um, that should be reason to be concerned about your mental state because something has significantly changed. You know, dis dislikes, likes, if you really enjoyed something before, like going for a walk, and now, you know, you, you don't have the motivation to go walk and get your mail, then um, you take note of that. And the first thing you should do is, is you know, you can consult with your doctor, um, see a counselor, now you have a website that uh, people can go to or people can get free advice when it comes to mental health. Yeah, so I started um, a blog. It's called Ultimate Abbey. And people are able to email me a question or a concern. I do not share any information as I keep it confidential. So just the question gets posted with my answer. And that's advice at ultimateabbey.com. And that's, it's honestly been a great way for, I've had mostly women, um, some men who have emailed asking questions and it's been a lot throughout the pandemic. So I'm, I'm glad to be able to help and give anybody just, a, just some advice even on what, where to go from here when you're just feeling really unmotivated and, and sad and, and isolated like we've been. I know for myself, moving into the colder, you can feel like winter and fall is in the air and the weather's changing and it sometimes puts you in a little bit of a funk. I know for me it does. And I always believe that movement is a key. Move. Keep your body yeah. moving. Keep yourself moving. It does so much for your mental health. Would you agree with that? A hundred percent. And, you know, 
just a, a personal for me, I have seasonal depression. So that means in the months of especially January and February, I tend to get very down. So I usually have a goal for myself within those months. And usually that's when I train for my half marathons or I do something that I've never done before to keep me motivated. But even getting outside in the winter for 10, 20 minutes, even though it's cold, bundle up and get yourself outside because once you get that natural vitamin D, it t you tend to feel better. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low of 53 degrees. On Thursday, a 20% chance of showers between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. Partly sunny with a high of 70 degrees. 20% chance of showers Thursday night after 7 p.m. Mostly cloudy with a low of 50 degrees. Friday, a 20% chance of showers. Partly sunny with a high of 62. At night, mostly clear with a low of 40 degrees. Saturday is sunny with a high of 60 degrees. Saturday night, mostly clear with a low of 38. Sunday is sunny with a high of 62. And Sunday night, clear with a low of 39 degrees. Today, the Big Ten announced a return to football for their teams, including Penn State. The eight-game season will kick off the weekend of October 23rd. Now let's get to the SSP TV Standard Speaker scoreboard. Tyler Stegerwalt was the hat-trick hero for the Tamaqua boys in their soccer victory over North Schuylkill. Ian Davis also scored for the Blue Raiders. Sabrina Pratt got a win for Tamaqua at number one singles, but the Lady Raiders lost to Notre Dame East Stroudsburg in tennis. In golf, Marion beat North Schuylkill. Carl Moyer led the way for Marion with a 90. In field hockey, Hazel Teneri lost to Wyoming Seminary. If you enjoy superhero movies, you're going to love our in-depth sports feature with former Hazel Teneri wrestler Timmy Samick. Our in-depth community feature is next, and Janine Lassant discusses the legacy of Richie Solo and how some of his collection is being featured on the show American Pickers. And today in the SSP TV Spotlight, the opioid problem in America is discussed. Stay tuned for a clip from the SSP TV show Modern Medicine. Good evening everyone, here's today's Talk of the Town. The 6th Annual Hazleton Town and Race Series will be held on Saturday, October 10th beginning at 7 a.m. Registration for this event is online only to register. You can go to the Hazleton Town and Race Series Facebook page. Manual Christian School in Hazleton is offering a literacy clinic for students in the greater Hazleton area in grades 3 through 10. The clinic starts on October 3rd and will run Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. The students will receive two hours of instruction and a 45-minute online group session. They will also get bi-weekly drills and assessments, monthly progress reports, weekly homework assignments, and a healthy snack. The clinic is open to any child in the greater Hazleton area and the cost is $50 per child per week. For more information, email Email dynamis at icshazelton.org or call 570-459-1111. The clinic will be led by ICS academic coach Tiffany Joyner. SB TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Teresa A. Leshko of Weatherly. Service will be held Friday at 11 a.m. at Union Cemetery in Weatherly. The Philip J. Jeffries Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. And Raymond Nestor, age 65, of Ringtown. Fred's may call Sunday from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Stauffer Brensick Funeral Home. Today's social and obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.